In this video, I'll show you how to configure your WooCommerce checkout without a billing address in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So here we are on our checkout page and I'll show you how you can disable your billing address and even your shipping address in the case you're selling a digital product. I'm going to show you how you can add custom fields and configure it exactly how you'd like to and all for free and without touching a single line of code. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce, it's free. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link to this plugin in the description below. Okay, so here we are on our dashboard and the second step is to go ahead and upload the plugin in which you've just downloaded. So you wanna to navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload the file. Once you've done so, you'll see this AIO checkout menu here for all-in-one checkout. Go ahead and click on it. So now the third step is to create a new checkout layout. So you just navigate to where it says create new checkout here. Click on it. In my case, I'm just going to edit this checkout, which I created earlier. Okay, so just a quick overview of what's going on here. So we've got our billing section here. We've got our shipping section. We've got our order summary and shipping method as well. And the payment methods automatically added. If you want to add new fields, just go ahead and click on this gear icon here and here you'll see all the available fields in which you can add it to your checkout page so if you want to add a new field you just go ahead and drag and drop it to wherever position you want on your page but let's go ahead and disable our billing section so it's super simple all we do is navigate to the billing section here and then we'll just go ahead and click this eye icon and that will completely disable our billing section. Before we do so, I'm going to go ahead and create a new section because we still want to collect um, our customer's email, maybe their phone number and name, first and last name. OK, so I'm just going to create a new section to add these fields to. So I'm going to click add new section here and a new section is always added at the top here. You can drag and drop it to rearrange it if you want. So I'm going to drag the first name and the last name and also the email address. OK, and I'm going to disable this section. Now, when we hit save changes and visit our checkout page, when we refresh this. OK, so now we can see our new section here. So it's got the first and last name and we've also got our shipping section as well. So if you want it as well, you can do the same and disable the shipping section. So if we navigate down to shipping details, let's disable this section and let's rename this section. So currently it says new section. Let's name it something more um, meaningful to the users. So we'll just say info, for example. Right. And let's go ahead and save changes. OK, now let's refresh this page. And now you've got a super streamlined checkout process for your customers. So all they have to enter in is their first, last name, email address, and then just go ahead and select their payment method. If you wanted to add any custom fields, again, you can just go ahead and drag and drop the particular field on a sidebar. So for example, we can add a checkbox and we can simply say, just click on this gear icon here and we can say something like, um, I agree to terms and condition, right? And you can set this to required so they have to um, check it. Okay, and then we can just hit save changes. So now let's refresh this page and here's our checkbox here, our terms and agreement checkbox. Okay, and then I can just go ahead and place order as well. If you wanted, one thing I should mention um, regarding our custom fields, if you click on the gear icon again so here we've got this display option so whenever you add a new custom fields you have the option to decide whether you want to display that custom field on the user thank you page um, on their account and also in the back end in the admin view when you view an order maybe you want to display the custom fields there as well so you just go ahead and enable it here so i've just disabled it to enable it you just make sure all the boxes are ticked and that will display on the back end and that will display on a user thank you page and a user my account page and also in the back end for admin. And one final tip. So we've created loads of videos um, on how to get the most out of this particular plugin. But whilst we're here, if you wanted to create a multi-step um, checkout flow, you can just go ahead and add a new step here. So this is perfect if you want to um, simplify the checkout experience for the users or maybe you just want to collect their email address first and then um, take them through the checkout flow. Okay, so currently on step one, we've got these informations here. So we could probably say email address first. Okay, so then maybe we wanna capture some additional information on the second step. So let's say, let's add a few 
fields so maybe you want to get their phone number for example um, website URL okay let's save changes and then let's see the changes on the front end okay so here we've got a simple multi-step checkout so we just click next and then we can just check out as normal and there we've got our multi-step checkout without a billing or shipping address and as you create a WooCommerce checkout without a billing or shipping address without touching a single line of code. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.